Welcome to our lecture online. So here we have an interesting problem dealing with pressure and depth in the liquid. And let's read the problem and then see why we need to be careful when we try to solve this problem. So we have the pressure acting on a submarine is 3 times 10 to the 5th pascals at a certain depth. If the depth is doubled, the percentage increase in the pressure acting on the submarine would be, of course we have four possible answers, and we have to assume that atmospheric pressure is 1 times 10 to the 5th pascals, the density of water is 1000 kilograms per cubic meter, and g is 10 meters per second squared. So how to solve this problem? Well, let's draw a little diagram of what is happening. So here we have the surface water level. Here we have a submarine. And the submarine is at a certain depth. Let's call it Y. And the pressure total that the submarine experiences is pressure due to the liquid plus the pressure due to the atmosphere. Now notice in this case, the pressure of the, of the total pressure is 3 times 10 to the 5th pascal. So we have 3 times 10 to the 5th pascal, which is the total pressure, is equal to the pressure due to being inside the liquid, plus the atmospheric pressure, which is 1 times 10 to the 5th pascals. So if we subtract this from here, we see we have 2 times 10 to the 5th pascals equals the pressure of the liquid. Now they tell us that the depth is doubled. So now we take the submarine. Oh, I lost my red pen here. Okay, so now we put the submarine at a depth where now we have the depth equal to 2y. So obviously the atmospheric pressure above the water does not change. The only thing that will now change is that the pressure of the liquid will not change. So now we can see that the new pressure total new is going to be equal to 2 times the pressure of the liquid initially, because we've doubled the depth, plus the pressure of the atmosphere. So in this case, it will be 2 times, 2 times 10 to the 5th pascals, plus an atmospheric pressure of 1 times 10 to the 5th pascal. So that's 4 plus 1, that would be equal to 5 times 10 to the 5th pascal. So that would be the new pressure. So now when we compare it to the old pressure, so pressure new divided by the pressure old is going to be 5 times 10 to the 5th pascal divided by 3 times 10 to the 5th pascal. And so that would be equal to 1.67. So therefore, the percent increase is going to be equal to the 67%, or we can write that as 200 over 3%. And now when we look at the answers, it looks like answer number A is the correct answer. And so 200 over 3 is the same as 67%. That's the increase in the pressure because we're only doubling the pressure of the liquid. The pressure of the atmosphere stays the same. And that is how it's done.